I must continue to work hard. Perfect comprehension. I passed? Having received the Kingdom Army's plea for aid, Rodrigue has agreed to provide soldiers. In order to meet up with their reinforcements, 
The Kingdom Army sets out for Elel, the Valley of Torment. This valley isn't a place I'd care to return to. After the chilliness of Fargus, I can't seem to adjust to this extreme heat. Historically, there have been battles whose outcomes were determined in part by the climate. You can't argue that this heat isn't a factor. <sighs> in conditions like these, who knows what will become of our morale. Professor, be honest. How are you holding up? Monks once used this area as an ascetic training ground because of the intense environment. They say Elel was born of the goddess's rage. If you believe the legends, this valley is evidence of the goddess's judgment, passed on humanity for its corruption. The forest that once covered the surrounding area was burnt to ash by a pillar of light that descended from the heavens. That legend fueled belief in a place of torment between our world and the next, where one's sins are purified in the cleansing flames. Nonsense. Sins are not so easily washed away. Indeed. And there are no accounts of such a place in Scripture. Yet those who cannot face their own sins have no choice but to cling to the idea. I just don't think I can take this heat anymore. I think I'm starting to see things. Near those mountains over there. Is it just me? Or is there a group of people gathered there? No. It would seem you are not hallucinating after all. Are those Rod Rieg soldiers? No. But their banner is that of... <gasps> no! It can't be. That is House Rose banner. They curried favor with that witch, and sold out Fargus! We messed up. There must have been a spy among us. Will you have us meet them in battle, or wait for Rodrigue to arrive? There is only one option. How kind of them to save us the trouble of killing them later. I will not repeat myself. That banner belongs to the Grey Lion. It's a waste of breath to exchange words with one such as him. His Highness is correct. He is not an opponent whom we can expect to negotiate with. Everyone, prepare for the attack!
Valley of Torment. Perhaps a good place to finish off my life as a knight. Only if that puny force of children is able to kill me, of course. That man who raises the lion's flag? Lord Gwendol. He is an elder knight who serves House Rome. Gwendol would, without thought, fight any battle if ordered. There is no chance of negotiating. Alel is a deadly place. Flames burst from the ground with no warning. Sane people usually avoid it. So the flames of torment burn your sins, your life, your everything. If you wish to spare yourself the goddess's wrath, tread lightly. Let's make this quick. What's the plan? What's my strategy? Shall we? I'm your girl. Your girl. Oh, nice. Shall we? I'll cut through. I'm in. your service. Ready when you are. I'll comply. Helpful. Can't afford to slack off. Sorry, but it's you or me. Another victory. Yeah. Sassy. What's my strategy? to be. What's the plan? Let's make this quick. I 
will not die yet. Next. Duty is your death. to be my best. I'll cut through. No time for mercy.
here, girl. Can't afford to lose. At your service. Team effort. What's the plan? <laughs> Don't bother haunting me. Old habits die hard. Cut through. I'm in. Once I've decided you're done, you're done. That'll do. For now. Not careful. Injuries mean nothing. Ready when you are. I shall not stray. What's my strategy? to be. Stronger, faster, never enough. Here we go! Attack them from both sides! So Cornelia has planted spies even inside Garrig Mach. The shield of Fargus has appeared. We can expect more out of him than the young ones. If you're sure. Nobody's fool. At your service. Wasted effort. Shall we? What's the plan? I'll cut through. Careful. <laughs> ah, thanks. I'll comply. What's my strategy? To meet you in a place like this? No, that won't do. I'll leave the talking until after the battle. Here's a small souvenir for you. Put it to good use. Ready when you are. Make this quick.
I'm in. I disposed of doubt long ago. Does a whelp like you really expect to kill me? I am Gwendol, the Grey Lion, a knight by the hand of Count Rome. Do your worst. Let's turn the table. Raised as a lion is degraded to a mere traitor's underling. A traitor's underling? That's upsetting, Your Highness. I am and always have been a knight of House Rome. How dare you? You are nothing but a lowly beast scavenging for scraps. You have forgotten the dignity of knighthood. I may be lowly, but this beast is devoted to his master. Then I had better kill the pet and deliver its head to that master. Out of my way! So I have found a place to die. Young ones, I thank you. kill more monstrous it is the way of knights to follow their master's orders without argument lord gwendol was a good man now he is just a corpse nothing more let's go rodriguez waiting for us
It's been too long, your highness. But try to temper your joy, will you? This is a war, after all. To say such a thing at a time like this... You have not changed one bit. Don't let looks deceive you. I've had a rough go of it ever since I crossed blades with those traitors in Ferdiad. When I heard you'd been executed, I rushed there as fast as I could, blind with fury. When I got there, I was fed some garbage about not being able to see your body. The next thing I knew, I was gripping my blade and... <sighs> Gilbert, you have done well to locate His Highness. I am truly grateful. And you, I have you to thank as well. Well, we are in your debt. I will repay you for this someday, I swear it. And you, Felix, you have also done well to bring His Highness here. <laughs> tell us all you know, Rodrigue. I'm afraid there's not much to tell. You are aware that the western region of the kingdom was taken by the Empire, correct? Yes, so I have heard. They are now calling it the Fargus Dupedom, or some nonsense. If you know that much, then the rest won't take long. Enemy or not, it's undeniable that Cornelia's plan was nothing short of genius. After seizing power, she invited the Imperial Army to Ferdiat. There, she reorganized her troops, and then sent soldiers to hunt me down. Because of that, we were forced to act defensively, and now we're being forced into a difficult battle. She's been controlling the situation all along. So that's been the witch's plan from the start. I should have killed her ages ago. Your Highness, Ferdiad is in a terrible state right now. The tyranny is unbearable, and so the rebellions are endless. Refugees starve to death in the streets. If I may speak freely, Your Highness. We should change course for Ferdiad and take down those traitors before we embark to Enbar. There's no time for that. We must annihilate Enbar before all else. Think this through. I understand wanting to destroy the Empire and the Emperor. I want that so much it hurts. But which is more important, the dead or the living? Silence! No, Dimitri. You will hear me out. Are you asking me? Asking the dead to forgive that woman? No, I would not ask that of you. What I am asking is that you allow us to prioritize the Kingdom Capital over the Imperial Capital for now. As Lambert's close and trusted friend, I am confident that he would have advised the same. Do not dare to put words in the mouths of the dead. They are your words alone, even if you borrow their lips. Until I offer up that woman's head, Father will remain a slave to his lingering regret and hatred. Even now, he suffers. It is ceaseless. As we waste time with idle chatter, his suffering continues! <sighs> you are my king. Our king. Wherever you lead, we will follow. But your highness... There are those who take up their sword in the name of revenge, and yet along the way, lose the strength and composure to follow through. You would do well to bear that in mind. Ah, I nearly forgot. Take this, Your Highness. The time has come for it to be wielded by its true master. Eritvar? The hero's relic once wielded by my father. The very same. I managed to steal it back from one of Cornelia's underlings in Ferdiad. Understated as ever, Father. It must have been a true struggle to get it back. I... I am grateful, my friend. Gilbert, Professor, may I request something of you? I wish to fight at your side. Senile already, old man? Who will protect our territory? I expected it would come to this, so I left those matters to my younger brother. He has my complete faith. I must keep my promise to our fallen king. To my dear friend. A very old one. I swore it nearly ten years ago. Now then, your highness. Let's destroy the empire together. My men and I will spare no effort. I pray that you are right. And that this will save the kingdom.
Our orders are to capture Enbar by striking the enemy's stronghold directly. How familiar are you with the geography of Fodlin? Then you must be aware that the Kingdom and the Empire are separated by the impassable Ogma Mountains, right? Legend has it that Saint Seros once crossed over those mountains to fight against the fell king Nemesis. But don't fool yourself. Leading a large army over such steep mountains would be near impossible. In order to infiltrate the Empire, we have no choice but to go around the mountains, either to the east or to the west. Yes, I agree. The Alliance is currently split in two. Those who stand with the Empire and those who are against it. Leading the Imperial faction is House Gloucester, while House Regan leads those who oppose. We should take advantage of their internal conflict and proceed east along the mountains until we reach the Great Bridge of Murden in Alliance territory. The Aramid River divides Alliance and Empire territory. There are many large bridges that cross it. However, the Great Bridge of Murden is by far the largest, and it is also closest to the monastery. I believe you crossed that bridge five years ago on your journey to the Battle of the Eagle and Lion. I'm afraid it's a possibility, but it's still more practical than passing through the West. Perhaps our next move should be to contact House Regan and request their cooperation. Claude of House Regan is the leader of the Alliance and is firmly against the Empire. They are the enemy of our enemy. In other words, hopefully, a friend. Are you suggesting that we ask House Regan to engage the Gloucester soldiers? I am. If we take the bridge, then House Gloucester will no longer be able to receive support from the Empire. There's no way a man as wise as Claude would refuse our request. And once we manage to capture the Great Bridge and gain a foothold into the Empire, then we cross Grander Field and head south toward Enbar. But if we get attacked from both sides, we'll have to fight people from the Alliance, won't we? Of course, if we get blocked in by the Alliance, we'll have to fight our way out. That means you'll have to cross blades with your old schoolmates. If you do not wish to kill familiar faces, do not tarry over the corpses of the dead. <laughs> Good advice. Prepare yourselves. It is time to steal your souls for the task at hand. 